makes me want to, want to go back and play the other games. This, uh, I played it once. Uh, this game is kind of piqued my interest. Just kind of the story and the trailer. But uh, I would play the other ones. Uh, while it's the intro. I think the same intro plays throughout the others as well, so I don't mind talking through it. <laughs> Just different actors and stuff. Uh, but I was really looking forward to this one. Uh, and then I think the next big one is the Callisto Project in the beginning of December. Here we go. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome to my repository, a vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react the decisions you make will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of Hands. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've done a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a 
very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. And it might have thought it big. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete, was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? Sir, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. Very we need to do this to The hell? Oh, <laughs> my thing was idle too long. Continue. Day. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days' shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh. I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course, we're in. I'll get them there, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave you behind it. Oh, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me. No money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. 
because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that could affect my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, no. but he isn't. This is if he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. The show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Topeka. That's all I think about. Don't this dude like is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, it's too really. Sus. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. <laughs> Don't die. All right, let's go. I hate that we can't run. Need to climb over here. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, grab my hand. We will run up to that shaggy building. Hey, guys, hurry up! We're on it. Okay, LB. Again, I've never played this game before. So I need a flag. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Why am I... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. What does this say? Anything for the shot, right? Yep. Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm Just gonna some say erosion. Not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Oh my god. I disagree. I would hate being with this guy. It's just a sign. You can ignore it. This way? I need to jump down. Mr. Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To what? Very challenging. 
Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. I guess we do. It's mid. <clears throat> trying to find this rock thing. So closest game that I've played like this is the quarry. And I completed it. I didn't get a good end ending, but Uh, it's pretty close to the end. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime. Some space a flashlight? Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, yeah. relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. What's this? Must have been mm -hmm. quite a storm. 187 lives. Less than what? What's his face killed? Crashed. Okay. Let's go check it out. Hoping to find the clue thing. Here we go. So, hop. Got it. Don't fall. And hop. This way? Uh, sure. Light sucks. Doesn't even help. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple of weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate yeah, sorry. the spending eye of yours, you know. Fuck your family. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Trump. I don't care. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. You yeah, want to edit? I appreciate you it. You don't want to edit. I'll be finding post on that. <laughs> you should do the same. Take some time out. You got uh, any family you can go and bother? That's uh, probably well, it's important. You know, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Pretty quick. Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. Married to the job. Right, there it is. Balanced. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Stop. All right. Last thing we need is anybody dying. What the hell is that? It's a mannequin. You know, just <laughs> hanging out. Fuck you. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right. That's probably it. That actually got me. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> He's not ready. Worse than, uh, Shadows of Rose. Just kidding. I don't know yet. Alright, come get me. Let's go. Let's 
cool. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be in a, like a cutscene. Let's go. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Why? Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Okay. What's going on? We come on back here. Locked tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Not ready for the jumps. Scares. Why do I play this game? Oh, I'm not gonna shimmy out. Yeah. Let's check here first. See if there's any of those rocks. It's lock day. Down here. Okay. Jump. No. Oh. Saw something. There we go. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. 2000... Is this set in 2022? Vacation. After April. April 2000. Sweet. It up, team. Should be the final week. Uh, foghorn, automation, boy, the kit, homeless guy, compound, final checks, getting injured, all project. End of the week. Wait, what week? Is this April? But April. That's when I anyway went on vacation. All right. There's nothing else here, though. Expecting some important stuff. Ah, oh, move. All right, let's go shimmy. What's this? Is that the thing? No. Fish factory to close. Exciting times. Which is a big import. Alright, let's go. I probably missed like a bunch. But I'll see someone else's playthrough. Ah, 
God damn. Getting on our stomachs. Scared. Oh, I want to look back here. Oh, I can't go back. Fuck. Oh, I missed something. Hopefully, I did it. Oh, God. Don't do that. This looks pretty old. That's that? rocks. Just some old coin. Take it. Find the penny. Pick it up. Okay. Look, so. sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. <clears throat> Let's check up here first. It's gonna be locked. No surprise. Let's go back here. Last of Us. Okay, I'm doing terrible. Joel would be mad. What the fuck are you doing? Place. A little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> right? That's the same thing. Let's open it. Christ, what the hell is that? Is it? Nice to meet you too. What the hell was it? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Not yet. Let's check over here. So, just like the other games, can preview stuff. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Six gallons of sanitizer. Okay, that's where we came. I'm gonna try down here first. No, no. Alright, upstairs. Can't 
see. He's breathing so hard. Charlie, Stop it. I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Start climbing. Jesus Christ, move. What in God's go. name is this? It's a bird. You can tell. It's... Ah! Oh my God. It moved. What? Fuck you. The thing. It moved. It just jumped. Okay. Need to stop with these. Took my whole controller. You gonna do it again? I wanna do it more than once. Okay. I'll let you pick it up. We're going Let's to climb. Slow. Don't tell me what I'm doing. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. Scared. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. I don't know. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? All right. Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Okay, so I just downloaded this game, and that's why it won't let me continue. So I'm going to stop here for now until the rest is downloaded. But I feel like I'm going to play another hour. I just need to wait a little bit longer. I don't know if it's still or if it's returning me to the main menu. 
see right now. Okay. Alright, so this will be like the second part and then uh, we'll continue on from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit.